is the uh, MCA, which stands for uh, Modular uh, Composition uh, Arcade. Because it looks like an arcade. It is modular, it comes apart. Uh, with magnets, which is really cool. Uh, we got a bass early and some drums. Um, and they're all with the uh, you know, arcade style things going on. The uh, motivation behind our project was to kind of have not only a design that you can play uh, different parts of, uh, say, an orchestra, you know, you have your melody, your bass, and your drums. Um, but also we wanted to integrate the ability to have multiple players in the orchestra, so um, the goal was to be able to involve more than one person. So our device uh, is connected as one uh, unit right now, but it snaps apart uh, using magnets to three separate units. The main um, section is the melody. We have our nine FSRs connected to our Arduino, which is uh, hardwired to the computer, which is talking to Max. The melody is FSRs. The last FSR into what controls um, the effect. So we got LFO, and we got a filter sweep, and then you push on the FSR, and that's how much you get. These two disconnect completely um, and don't have to even be within 50 to 75 feet of this original patch. They communicate using Wixels, uh, which is a wireless uh, Arduino. So our base um, is pretty simple. The joystick is actually, uh, with the button, it's just five digital pins. Um, you have your four cardinal directions, and then you have when two pins are pushed at the same time. Um, our fifth is just a simple sustain. So we get our entire octave, and then we can sustain it, which that doesn't sound very good. And then our drums, we also have another Wixel uh, with our different drum individual hits, and then our drum beat, which we have different beats that we can layer in. These two don't even communicate with this third one. They actually talk directly to our receiver Wixel, which is plugged directly into the computer. So this little guy um, is blinking, so he's working. Um, that's cool. So up at the top um, here, we have uh, basically just the code to get the information from the whistle here. If I fool around at the base, you see some of the those lights coming on because some of those buttons are getting pressed. On. This is basically just all of the note numbers uh, in MIDI for uh, the 12 basic major scales. This knob. Um, basically switches between the four keys that we decided we wanted to see access to. Over here we have a huge mess of nonsense that interprets the data from the FSRs. When the force on the FSR exceeds a certain value, the note comes on. Then when it drops below a value that's slightly lower than the threshold for going on, um, it turns off again. When it passes the, um, the threshold value, there's a 75 millisecond delay. And then the value, the force value, 75 milliseconds after it crosses that threshold, is scaled and becomes the velocity value. Um, down here is actually the drum logic. If you hit one of these, it turns on one of the, the four drum patterns. If you hold this button and then select one of these, you switch between uh, kits. Basically, there are four channels. Um, there's one for the melody, there's one for the bass, and there's actually two for the drums. One of them is for the patterns, and another one is for single hits. The bass is just a simple uh, acoustic bass. Basically, I chose that because I thought it would work well with a joystick. It's like very jolted motion. I feel like uh, acoustic bass players are more into the Staccato. The lead, we wanted something pretty basic so that we could add effects to it uh, whenever we wanted. More expressive, really. So. There's one redrum module which has all of the patterns in it. They're kind of like building patterns. One of them is just a kick drum, another one adds in a clap, another one speeds up the clap a little, and another one adds in a, a cymbal crash to kind of like give it an epic sound. I have 
three Kong drum sets, which basically give you different sounds. In theory, if you wanted to, you could have all three kits playing at the same time. It sounded kind of <laughs> bad, but you could. <laughs> Thank you. 